So let me ask you specifically then, if you were to run a label right now, what specifically would you do differently? And what impact do you believe it would have? I would do what Maven is doing, you know? Um, of course, I want to recoup, like I want to make money so I can take that money and invest it again. So nobody wants to go into a business venture and not bring any profit out. So yes, invest in what you think is normal right now. Uh, um, that you think people would like, right? Invest in that, but also be like a scout. Um, I was watching, uh, I don't know if you've seen this new movie, Hustle. Um, Not yet. Is the basketball joint? Yeah, that basketball joint. Uh, the guy went out, looked for a talent. Rough around the edges, but super talented. He discovered that guy and brought him to the big leagues. Um, my point is, invest in what everybody likes right now. Look for something that they are not used to and be the one who discovered it. Do you understand? Um, I I let, you. let that be like something you are doing on the side or whatever that is. But, but invest in that and help that person grow to a point where um, if he's fortunate enough, everybody comes to be in tune with him. And, and then you will be the trendsetter or the trailblazer or wherever, wherever it is you, you want to be. But I don't believe any label that has uh, foresight should just focus on what's trendy right now. That's why I think maven will always be my favorite you know because they have artists from different um spectrums though they are they are normal for beats artists are more but they have somebody like johnny drill who makes uh, the type of music he makes i think you call it country or whatever it is you have Ladi Po on the other hand hip-hop artists you know so i don't know that's what i would do if i had a label you know not just one type of artist that's right. all right all right so let me this we, you get your own label right yeah what do you run differently in your label versus how visibly you see labels operating right now? Hmm. Um, okay, I think, I think personally, I'll try to involve as many people that are genuinely interested in you know, seeing the music do well. Not just, not just, you know, not just about, you know, the money, but actually breaking records and, you know, getting the kind of exposure that Nigerian music deserves. You know, because Nigerian artists are talented and everything, but at the end of the day, there are a lot of labels, a lot of artists that don't go beyond a few years in the game. And, you know, somebody makes all the money they need to make out of them. and move on to the next new thing so at the end of the day i think the music is still so important so i think for me i'll try to make sure everybody that i have involved is really about the music so to to encroach on your previous answer if you were given a label and the ability to run a label to the, the finance and everything like that the change you would make is you would you would bridge the business into the culture. You would make the business actually start pushing the culture forward and and, and be a part yeah. of the culture with breaking yeah. artists and, and doing that's essentially what DJs were supposed to do, right? That's that's the role that DJs yeah. played was, yeah. was breaking breaking new artists, breaking new records and things like that. You would have the label come in and play that role. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. I go back onto the label thing, right? So in the event that that you were put in a position to run a label what would you do differently because you had said that like what it's going to take is for someone who loves hip-hop and has the money and the label to make a difference if you were put into yeah. that position and you had the money you had the label obviously you have love for hip-hop and its creation what would you do differently that would impact the industry what i would do is i would also sign a rapper like i say but they would drop rap songs, melodic rap songs, and also songs that are Afro pop. They would be just in their music. You just show they would show versatility in their music. And you don't think they're doing that now? They think they're just focused on the the pop side of it. Rema did that. Rema showed a lot of versatility, but like now Rema is just showing Afro pop, the Afro pop side of him. It's not doing the other 
for most for the most part. Yeah, in there are some songs on his album that he showed the other side of him, but like for see the thing is, if you want to have a commercially viable song, you drop a single. In this day and age, you have a higher chance of dropping an Afro pop record than a rap song. If you're dropping a rap song, the melody has the hook has to be has to slap. I think of Ladi Poe, think of this nice. song, um, um, this guy featuring J5 featuring Buju and Santander Propeller. Like you have to, the hook most like has to slap, has to slap. So, so if you right. are in a position, right, like you're now tomorrow, you're running a label, all right, it's up mm -hmm. and running, it's going, it's booming, right? What specifically would you do differently, and what impact do you think that would have for your artists? Yeah, like I said, not um, not to be say it's of course it's a business and you're out to make money and stuff, but still, sometimes I feel like you need to tend more to like the welfare of the artist, make sure the artist is straight. Sometimes a lot of artists be going through stuff that they can't even share with their labels. Like the labels have no clue of what's going on with the artist. Like there's this like, gap, there's this like little gap between the label and the artist, and the artist can come out to say, okay, I'm going through this currently. Some artists are like in depression phase and like the label just wants music, 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 music. Like sometimes it's good for the artist to take time, a little bit of time off. I know the um, labels have like projections and say, okay, um, in two years and one year and blah, in six months, we want to do this. And it doesn't always work like that. They have to like have the ability to be flexible and see things differently, not always numbers and numbers. It's fine to get the numbers, it's fine to make the money, but at the end, if the artist isn't straight, they can't do that for you. Well, if you go the other direction, the label just goes under, right? Like there has to be some focus on revenue. Yeah. Like some focus yeah, has definitely. to be like, yo, we have to keep the doors open, <laughs> right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. Okay. okay. So what, so what impact do you think that would have? So your change that you would make is focusing more on nurturing the artists and uh, the mental health, you know what I'm saying, that goes along with all the pressures of the music industry. Let's, let's be honest. There's yeah. a lot, right? There's a lot that goes along. There's a lot to digest. How do you think that would separate your label from the labels that exist right now? Like, what results would you expect from that? Yeah, it's more likely to be successful if it's more like a family thing. Like, the artist sees the label as a family, not just my company where I run my, like, nine to five or eight to four, like that. Like, when they say more like, okay, I'm a part of this family and they really do care about me. And then we're churning out hits and stuff and we're making money, all this money. And they do take time to still check and see if you're good, if you're straight while we're working and doing business. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't agree with most of the shit that you're saying, but that's what this is all about. <laughs> yeah, it's all about different perspectives. Like that's what exactly, I exactly. That's what I was about to say. My opinion doesn't matter. I'm not fucking over anything. there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I like having a bunch of different opinions. You know what I'm saying? Because like, if everybody just came on and said the same shit too, like, who would watch that? Yeah, want, you, that'll be boring. You had the opportunity to run your own label, especially given your stance that they do have a responsibility to the culture. Uh, what would you do differently to show that, to showcase that? Yeah, um, art is sacred. And for one to have an ability to do something like men, um, is so great. So if I become a record of course, let me say I have money to put up the medal, of course, I believe that you can have so many kind of acts and artists sectors in a level, just like what Chocolate City did. They have the 100 crown with the AQ and the loose canon. Right. So, um, you know, being a record level boss, I have to be, uh, um, I believe that I work towards having this capability to welcome every sort of art and make sure that I infuse everything it takes, you know, to put out this artist out there without making no one feel like um, my kind of art doesn't matter. Because lots of time, you know, artists feel that way. They come in with, I don't think this will pop. But yes, it will pop only if you get the right audience. And as a record label boss, it's my job to find those audience that love and appreciate that craft done by that artist. I like it. That's a lot of work, but I see the vision. I see the vision. 